rock, jazz, funk, and then you're bound to have played the blues scale in one of the riffs and bass lines. You might not actually know what the scale is, but you'll recognise the shapes when I talk about them today in the lesson. Now, blues scales are great for constructing bass lines and riffs and for using in your feels. Welcome to this Greg's Bass Shed lesson. So today I'm going to show you the two blues scales. I'm going to show you how to play them on the bass, how to play them in different positions, and how they're used in different bass lines and riffs. It helps a lot with the blues scales if you already know the pentatonic scales. Now I'm going to cover what they are in this lesson, but if you want to look in depth at pentatonic scales then click this link up here and that will take you to another lesson. There are two blues scales, the major and the minor blues scales. Now the minor blues scales are probably used more, so I'm going to look at those first in this lesson. This is the fretboard shape for A minor blues scale. Now try this scale with me. So you need to put your first finger on A, that's the fifth fret of the E string, and you're going to use finger numbers 1, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, like this. 1, 4, one, two, three, one, three. Okay, so I'll play that and I'm going to go up, ascending, and then come back down, descending. Okay. Okay, so try that with me. Three, four. Now if you look at the fret diagram again for A minor blues scale, you'll see that I've highlighted a note. Now this is the, called the blues note, it's also the flattened fifth interval. Okay, if you take that note away, then you get the minor pentatonic scale. Okay, so all you do is you add the blues note to the minor pentatonic scale and you get the blues scale. Okay, now the pentatonic scales are really useful to play as well. If you play them going backwards and swap some of the bottom notes, um, you get this riff. Okay, so that's, you might recognise that, that's the kind of tagline at the end of the um, verse for I Shot the Sheriff. just the notes of the A minor pentatonic. Now I think it's in G, so you just put that down two frets. Okay, so that's uh, it's really handy to know the pentatonics as well as the blues scales. Pause the video now and try A minor blues scale yourself. Okay, play it ascending, going up, and descending, coming down. So do it really slowly until you've got the pattern under your fingers, until you're really happy with that, because um, we're then going to take it to start on different root notes. Now I've written all this down on a PDF, you can get that by clicking the link below this video in the description, that's got the fret diagrams, it's got standard notation and tab. So pick up that PDF now. What I want you to do now is to transpose this into D, okay, so we're going from A and our root note now is D, so that's the fifth fret of the A string. So you just get the whole thing and play the pattern again. So just remember the fingering pattern and start that on D this time. So try that yourself now. Being able to move these blues scales around the bass into different keys is really important. If you're doing a jam night, the singer might want to do um, a song in another key, or if you're just having a jam with some mates, um, then you can use the pentatonics and the blues scales in any key. So make sure you've got that shape under your fingers and you can start it on different root notes. Now a classic example of the minor blues scale being used in a bass line is what you heard me playing at the beginning of the video, which is from Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. Okay, so that's just a descending run. If you start uh, the minor blues scale on E flat, and that's E flat minor blues scale. Now start at the top, okay? And then you just play that um, scale coming back down with this rhythm. Okay. 
that's a really classic kind of straight usage of the blues scale. Now you might recognise this riff as well. Really iconic bass line, that's from Cream Sunshine of Your Love. Now that's just the D minor blues scale coming down. Okay, so you played the D minor blues scale earlier. So just start at the top. Okay, so it's those exact notes from the D minor blues scale. See if you can find other examples of the blues scale being used in bass lines for a little riff um, or a feel or part of the whole bass line. Um, and let me know what you find in the comments below this video. If you're enjoying this lesson, then don't forget to subscribe to my Greg's Bass Shed YouTube channel. You can do that by clicking the red subscribe button on the bottom right hand side of this screen. And don't forget to click the bell and you'll get notified of all my new lessons as they're released. Now, if someone says to you play the blues scale, then they'll generally mean the minor blues scale. But there is a major blues scale as well. So this is the fret diagram for a major blues scale. So you start with your first finger on A again, but this time we kind of, we have to shift. So if you start with your first finger on A, the fifth fret, we're going to shift to the seventh fret. Okay, so one, and then one, two, three, one, three, one. Okay, I'll play that again. So you just remember that shift. back again. Now I've highlighted the blues note again and if we take that out then we just get the major pentatonic scale but this blues note you'll notice it is in a different place because it's the flat third so when we have the major blues scale it's the flat third so here that's the blues note okay so it's between the second and the third interval. So pause the video again and you try a major blues scale. Now what I want you to do now is to transpose this starting on E. Okay, so try E the seventh fret of the A string. So you'll start here and then remember you've got to do your shift. Okay, so pause the video and try that yourself. The major blues scale is really useful again for creating bass lines and riffs, but it's especially useful for creating fills as well. So when you're trying to create a fill, don't start on the root note all the time because it just sounds a bit rubbish. Um, so if you can start on the, the second or the third, a different interval, then you'll get a, a better sounding fill. Have a listen to me playing this two bar riff. It's a kind of based on E, D and then back to A. So I play a little fill at the end based on the major blues scale. So I've written this on the PDF, so I'll go for it now. So you're just playing half a bar of E, half a bar of D, and then down to A. Okay, and that's just the notes from A major blues scale. And then the fill. Okay. And just when you're playing this, just think about the shape that you're using here, okay? So it's just the shape from the major blues scale. And without that first note, you're kind of using, you're starting on the second. That's the feel there. But you're just putting a quick A note leading up to it. So I'll play that again. Try it with me if you want. Three, four. Now you may need to practice that to get that up to speed, but that's on the PDF. So um, 
have a look at that as well if you're just looking at the tab or the standard notation and just check the notes of the A major blues scale and just see how they work, how they're the same notes. Now when you start to get creative with these blues scales, there's a kind of general rule. You can break this, but generally the minor blues scales sound good on minor chords and the major blues scales sound good on major chords. But the minor blues scale, you can kind of get away with playing that over major chords as well. It sometimes sounds good. But like using all these scales and modes, just let your ear be your guide. So if it sounds good, then it probably sounds good to everyone else if it sounds good to you, okay? Um, so you can break these rules, but that's a kind of general starting point. And don't dwell too long on these blues notes. Don't just kind of, if you're an A, don't play the blues note a lot. They kind of need to lead, resolve up to the, the next note or the note below, okay? So make sure you have the shape of both of these blue scales under your fingers, okay? And you can start them on any root note. And make sure you know the difference between the two patterns, the minor and the major. And remember what I said, when you start to get creative with these scales, um, don't always start on the root note, start on a different interval and it will sound better. Well, I hope this lesson helped you with the blue scales. Don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel and pick up the free PDF. And if you felt that you got value out of this lesson, then you can always buy me a coffee. Um, that's the link here. You can see at the bottom of the screen. Or if you want a clickable link, then you can go down to the description. It's underneath where you get the free PDF. And also in the description, I've got links to my website, to my books, my courses. And if you want to take a three blues masterclass, then click that link there um, in the description. You can also purchase PDF booklets of all of the videos on YouTube. You can get three of them which have videos 1 to 50. So again, the link's in the description. This is Greg from Greg Space Shed. Hopefully see you soon in the next video.